Welcome back to the channel. So I picked up a M1 Mac Mini uh, and started to do the boot process, uh, but ran into some issues with Bluetooth connectivity. Um, in my research, I saw that people, especially those in the Apple community forum, uh, have had struggles getting into the setup menus and getting into the OS thereafter. Um, I have struggled for the last 10, 15 minutes, uh, but I have since figured it out and I figured I'd like to share it with the community. So on that, let's do it. To set up the inputs and outputs, the interfaces on the back of the Mac Mini. Power cord, HDMI to the TV, and USB-A running to our Magic Keyboard. You could use this setup or procedure using a Bluetooth keyboard of any sort, and then therefore a mouse, but for this setup, we're not even going to need a mouse. Um, the struggle seems to be that people that don't have a Magic Keyboard or Magic Trackpad are unable to push forward in those setup menus. We will power on and we will go through over the procedure and the steps to follow using the keyboard only. Once you boot up your Mac Mini, you are presented with the Magic Mouse and Trackpad icons that are telling you to turn on your devices. What we have done is plugged in USB-A to lightning cable on the Magic Keyboard, and now we will hit the space bar to proceed to the next step. Once from there, we can then proceed, and you have to use three separate buttons. We need to turn off voice activation and by pressing the escape button. But to move forward, we will hit the return key because we're going to select English. And you can see that it's loading to the next screen. Selecting your country, there are three buttons that you have to pay attention to on the keyboard. That is the tab button, the space bar, and the return. You can't use anything else to move forward. Once we select the United States, we can use the arrow keys to find the United States. We use the tab key to go to continue, and then you use the space bar to accept to go to the next screen. We then tab again until not now, hit the space bar to continue. As you can see, I've got quite a few SSIDs. So for this as well, we will hit tab. We will drop down using the lower arrow key, the down arrow key, and we will tab to go to the next one and then hit down arrow to go to the next one. And you keep cycling through tab to get back because you can't just use the down arrow to go down the list. You have to cycle, let the window highlight, and then go back again. So tab, tab, down arrow, tab, tab, down arrow, and you repeat that process until you get to the one that you want. Now we are on what we want. We will proceed to type in the password. and you hit enter to continue and go to the next menu. Tab, over, spacebar, continue to go to the next. We are not migrating anything, so we will do not now, and you hit spacebar again to proceed to the next. 
we'll type in our Apple ID. gmail.com and then this is where you have to hit enter to go to the next drop down which will be the password if you hit tab or spacebar you'll get stuck on create new Apple ID and you won't be able to go anywhere and you'll have to start over so make sure that you hit enter brings up the password and enter your password You hit enter again, and now we load up the two-factor. Tab to get to the checkbox, space bar to check that box. It's already selected for agree. Well, that's different. Enter to move on. And you just continue this process. Tab to move to your next space. If you're on the back or the continue, you push forward with entering your next menu and you proceed on through just as if you were doing it with regular keyboard and a mouse. So I'm going to redo this or create my account. We do not want to share video reusing screen time. We won't be using Siri. We will be using encryption. Stick to light. And it looks like we are about just finished with the setup and we've done it all with a magic keyboard. Let's say you do not have a wired mouse or a magic mouse or again a magic trackpad. We can still set up a Bluetooth mouse. We'll type in Bluetooth. Can't spell, but it's there. You hit enter and you open up your system preferences right into the Bluetooth settings. So you're in search. At this point, you now want to turn pairing mode on, on whatever device, whatever mouse that's Bluetooth that you have. You use the down arrow to go down to your select, select a device, and you hit the space bar to start that connection process. For some odd reason, in my case, Balasilix X or 10 does not connect to Macs. It connects to Windows devices, but it does not connect to my Mac. So it will go and go and, and rotate and eventually it won't connect. Um, I don't know if it's the model or what, but the Razer mouses don't seem to want to connect, but you shouldn't have a problem with any other Bluetooth device. I have success. I've had success with others, 
but this one specifically doesn't want to connect but that's the procedure to move forward if you don't have a wired mouse well that about wraps up this one thank you all so much for watching i hope it was helpful don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one